What is up, guys? We are coming to you from Las Vegas, Nevada at the MGM Grand. We are at the 100K Conference, and we have Elijah I here and Miss Jennifer Cunado. They are amazing real estate entrepreneurs. They've yes. done over 750 flips in properties and wholesaling. Elijah's done over 100 Facebook Live calls where he's talking to sellers, negotiating, sharing a ton of tips, and they are a dynamic duo. Jen is behind the scenes doing the systems, building the business, and we wanted to come to you guys and share with you some top tips on negotiating with sellers over the phone so you don't want to miss all of the juicy stuff we have for you, so stay tuned. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the bell button, that like button, guys. You're going to get notified of videos we post every week. So one of the biggest issues that we hear from a lot of newbie mobile home investors is just talking to uh, sellers over the phone. Uh, for some reason, there's some type of a fear there because you know, you've know you never done this before. This is one of the biggest challenges and you don't want to sound non-confident. You really want to sound as confident as possible when dealing with sellers over the phone because that's the easiest way to drop the ball and lose the deal. So Absolutely. Elijah, man, what's your first tip? when it comes to you know uh, negotiating over the phone with some of these sellers? Well, I think one of the very first ones you could uh, really focus on doing, we call it mirror and matching. Mm -hmm. And so when you when you have somebody on the phone, you want to kind of mirror, all right, kind of the, mm -hmm. if, are they from down south? Are they mm -hmm. are they fast talker, mm -hmm. slow talker? Mm -hmm. And you want to match the energy. Some people you have to go, yes, I'm so excited. <laughs> and some other people, oh, you just lost everything, oh man. Mm -hmm. You know what? Time's gonna get better, yeah, and we sure set back. Just another comeback, mm. set up for your glorious comeback. Mm. So mirror and match them, because people like people mm. remind them of themselves. Mm -hmm. The more you like them, they immediately subconsciously are already more receptive to listen to whatever you're saying on the mm. phone. So, what are some of the questions that you ask them in the beginning of the conversation to really figure out what kind of person am I talking to on the phone? What I really like to do, and, I, and it's a really a pro tip, pro tip for you guys. <laughs> and it, at first, it feels funny to do it, but this is one way for sure to build instant rapport and to mm. see if they're going to be open and talking more, mm. or if they're dominant. Well, I need to take control mm. and say like, "Hey, how's it going, Samara? Uh, what I catch you doing?" Oh, mm. what am I catchy doing? Like, whoa, if they say, if they tell you what they're doing, yeah. you're immediately a friend. Like, who are you doing? Don't worry what I'm doing. What's this about? You know, yeah. right. but if you have the confidence to ask, hey, how, what I catch you doing over there? Yeah. Yeah. So you get a lot of answers that are, so what did I catch you doing? So some people are going to say, oh, nothing. Like, what's, what's going on? Right. Oh, nothing. You know, what's going on? Those are people that are going to be more straight to the point. They want, you know, they don't, they're not going to be open to, having the Short extra talk. conversations mm -hmm. about themselves, so you just want to get more to it. Mm -hmm. And at that point, oh, well, no worries. Let me just, it's only going to take a couple minutes, and this is what we're going to talk about. Mm -hmm. So you want to be more straight to the point. If mm -hmm. they're more straight to the point, mm -hmm. you're going to have other people that are talking about their dogs, their family, mm -hmm. their work, and whatever they you caught them doing, it will tell you a little bit more of their personality mm -hmm. or whether they're open to talking. Mm -hmm. like a so you're kind of like feeling like their energy uh, yeah. right yeah. from the jump, right? Mm -hmm. right. Mirror and imagine them. Yeah. You're saying that's how you're able to mirror and match them. Like, mm -hmm. hey, yeah, this is Elijah. I just want to follow up with you. Mm -hmm. So, Jay, Jay, what I got like you doing over there? Mm -hmm. Now we just, if they open up, now you're building that, that chemistry, that media, mm -hmm. that instant friendship, we call it. Mm -hmm. I love that's it. what we I tell all it. you guys, man. It's not about what you want. It's not about the ego. You got to meet the seller where they are and try to build as much report as possible. We want to create friendships first and we just lead with education. So number two, what would you guys say? Number two tip you can provide today. Alrighty. So the number two tip that we have is poking the pain and painting the picture. So what we like to talk about is many times when you talk to a seller who's either in a motivated state or they are looking to sell their property, they're interested in selling their property, many times they're in the middle of indecision. Mm -hmm. And so what you want to do for, in order to help them make that decision is to help them realize where the pain is. Many times they'll give you, you know, as soon as you tell them, well, why are you interested in selling? They are going to let you know why. That might be, oh, hey, well, I want to move. I want to, you know, whatever the case may be, I need the money. You want to make sure that you get a couple layers deep on that pain. So mm -hmm. ask a couple questions and it can be very authentic, just curious, right? Mm -hmm. Get curious, get understand the pain and then have the, 
you know, paint the picture of what would what well, would well, be. Before you get the paint the right. picture part, I think once you poke the paint, I think there's a key part where most people overlook. Mm -hmm. You understand? Like, and most people aren't gonna just come and tell you, "Yeah, life's messed up. My life is going down in the right. crapper." Like, no, you have to kind of you have to ask multiple questions. So, why do you want to sell a house? Well, I just want to offer, or right. mm -hmm. or maybe I just want. I, I didn't think about it. You called me or mm -hmm. whatnot, right? Mm -hmm. Well, outside of price, what make you want to sell the house today? Mm -hmm. or the mobile home today. And so being able to ask them outside of price and being able to dig in, so like, so, I mean, tell me, and sometimes you have to do the little lead on questions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You do a little lead on questions, and this works like a champ. I promise mm -hmm. you, uh, literally, hundreds of millions of dollars worth of real estate we close with this little little okay, technique right okay, here. listen up. All right, listen, <laughs> pens up, guys, pens up. No, no, no. All right, so uh, what you say is like, well, why are you thinking of selling the mobile home? Are you tired of dealing with the neighbors over there? <laughs> yeah. Do that little ha, ha, ha afterwards. Mm -hmm. It diffuses them like no 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 so neighbors are fine ah uh, no no but this reason I lost bills my wife's leaving me mm -hmm. I I inherited this property whatever the reason now that you diffuse them now they're gonna talk about real pain part mm -hmm. and you know, giving them a reason to to open up that dialogue with you and we get that a lot there's a lot of sellers out there that don't want to you know say that number you ask them you know uh you know wh how much do you need in order to feel comfortable selling the home and it's like how much are you gonna give me so mm -hmm. does that help in that situation. Yeah, so and, and and so when they don't want to give you a number, I know one thing we like to do, um, I just try to go with the ridiculous, right? right. Well, I, I don't know, I don't know, you call me, I don't know, you tell me what number, well, how's the million sound? Mm. Okay, huh, you're not going to give me a million dollars, <laughs> of course I'm not going to give you a million, that'd be ridiculous, yeah. and I want to give you a dollar, and that's ridiculous, so mm. between a million and a dollar, where do you need to be? Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, off the record, mm. say that one too, off Ooh. the record. Wow. It felt, we're sure off the record, yeah. but <laughs> off the record, it makes me like, oh, I was thinking about maybe this number, whatnot, mm. off the record, where would you need to be? I mean, give me a ballpark range. Mm. And another thing I like to do too, and and I know Jennifer, you're really good at doing this as well. Is giving them a ballpark range, mm -hmm. so I give you between forty to sixty thousand. Instead of saying, "Would that number work for you?" Hey, between forty to sixty thousand, how does that make you make feel? Make you feel. Mm. Mm. And so, yeah. And so that's another thing. When you're getting to the pain, sometimes it's the number, sometimes it's the feeling. They don't mm. want to get out of the property. So digging deep into the pain will give you. Once you understand what that is, you're able to then you know get, use that pain mm. to help them paint a picture of what mm. would you know how how would we get overcome that pain so mm. if it's the money how can we get you money if it's the mm. you need to relocate how can we get you there as soon as as possible mm. and making sure you, you're using that so that they understand what success looks like yeah because yeah. a lot of our sellers are dealing with hey I got to get out of this property I need to get to point B when you say relocate a lot of the time they're either moving in with a friend, right. moving in with a family mm -hmm. member, mm -hmm. or just getting a whole new apartment or house themselves, right? Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. So being able to show how you can bring value and that you're not against them. You're bringing out the pain, but you're there to bring that solution exactly. to comfort them exactly. at the same time. Oh, I love it. You guys gave a lot of gems on that yeah, one. Yeah, so, yeah. Take notes. Take notes. Take notes. Hope y'all taking notes on this one. So let's jump into the third and final tip that you guys have. What is what would Paint the perfect picture. Well, first, most people are pretty pessimistic. I mean, just, mm -hmm. just reality. Mm -hmm. I mean, when I was a little kid, you thought the world's gonna be great, and then <laughs> bills hit you, life hit you, yeah. and I just always think of the worst thing that could happen. Right. Well, if you're able to disconnect them from the property and get them from the saying like, hey, once we sell the property, tell me, what's it gonna look like? Mm -hmm. There's headaches behind you, you have, mm -hmm. you have your new property, you set up, you have money in your account, people are calling you, you're not dealing with stress and agony. How's that gonna feel that mm -hmm. this is behind you? Tell me, what does it look like? Where are you guys gonna go first to? Mm -hmm. Where are you gonna spend the money to? And here's a little pro tip, I, I wanna add value, I wanna add value, all right? So one <laughs> thing I do that allows you to paint the perfect picture, I call, we call it our testimonial close. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it evokes, it's a little advanced NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming, mm -hmm. but it allows them to think of the future, not as it is right now, but how it could be. Mm -hmm. And you position in it. So the way it sounds... And the idea is to really start with the end in mind. Mm -hmm. So before you're even really getting down to the contract, to the, you know, all the details, you already got them to the finish line. Mm -hmm. And so this technique, Elijah, every time that he says that, this technique, I already know it's like, it's in. you're 80% to the close. Yeah. Like oh, if nice. you can get this point across it's really helpful because now they they are already they've experienced success you, he's painted the picture mm -hmm. so go ahead so you hit them with the pain so you're like all right so you don't want to you need to sell the house for this xyz reason they haven't discussed you haven't discussed price yet all right because you still want to get to the price so you said okay mr seller all right so assuming that we agree on price we assume we agree on numbers we meet we sign contracts i communicate through the whole process you're completely comfortable with everything i said i'm going to do Everything's done. Money's wired into your bank account. 30, 40 grand's wired in your account. 
See, I just threw a number, so now they, I didn't say what number I agreed to, but now I just got a mentally connected to that mm. number. You can do a range. And so yeah. 30 to 40,000 wired into your account, everything is done. The one thing I'm gonna ask for in return, and this is our only non-negotiable item, the only non-negotiable item. So you build up the climb, like, what is it? What is it? <laughs> so, what it's gonna be, <laughs> I'm gonna need a testimonial recommendation letter from you saying you was pleased with the results I provided you and that you refer somebody to the future for me. Is that something you could do for me? And say, how you shake your head? Yeah, 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 they just mentally agreed to do the business with you. They, you was able to paint a picture before you even discuss price. Right. Well, I hope you are taking notes on that one, man. man. Yeah. Really game right there. So much, Jen. Yeah. So, we're, hopefully you guys got all of that. You're taking <laughs> notes. So, I know you guys have your consistently closing group where yeah. you share a ton of tips. Mm -hmm. You do these live negotiations with your audience. Mm -hmm. um, where can people find you? Where can they find that? So you could go to uh, our Facebook group. It's consistently, consistently closing. closing. Yeah, consistently closing. Mm -hmm. Or you could text Elijah five nine two two four, and you get a link sent right to you as well. As we have our affirmations, we give absolutely, them to love. Absolutely, right? absolutely. And so, what do you guys have going on next? I know you guys have a lot of amazing things. You're speaking yes. at the conference today. Yeah, right? we're speaking. We're speaking about an hour, all right? We're talking <laughs> to the family, and then we're going to be speaking um, at the Accelerated 2.0 event in January, in January in Hollywood. Depending so, on what's yes, so, right. So, so things going good. Yeah, yeah, please need the family. And that was just for sales. Yeah. yeah, I just want to be able to help just, like I said, add more value, do more deals, and just commit, connect and communicate with other relationships like you guys. And awesome. one last awesome. thing, man. You helped us out tremendously, man, when we started our journey. Right after we lost that 30 grand, Ooh, we had a... Yeah. Pick us up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And um, you actually uh, recommended a book for us to read, man. I think we read that book two times. Can you give it to the people? The Secrets of the Millionaire Mind, hands down, mm -hmm. by, by. Mm -hmm. Hear that, guys. Write that book down. Yeah, that'll change your life. It'll change your whole mindset around money mm -hmm. it'll change your whole mindset Program around starting your sales. business mm -hmm. and sales yes awesome all right, guys, we hope you got a ton of value out of this video. We thank you guys so much for joining thank us. You. you guys, do us a big favor. If you got some value, hit that subscribe button, smash the like button, and the bell button to be notified of videos we post every week. But if you're on the fence or you're trying to figure out how to start with mobile home investing, Samir, how can they get started? Absolutely. We're going to leave a link right below this video. Be sure to apply if you're looking to get started with mobile home investing. We've got the blueprint for you. We've got the tools, the contracts, everything you need need to close your first deal so be sure to apply at the link below we are definitely going to take care of you so thank you so much for watching guys we'll see you on the next one